Hey guys, so it is time for my November favorites. And November went by so fast for me. I feel like it just flew by and it's already like past Thanksgiving, already getting ready for Christmas, gone by so fast. So I have really not a whole lot of November favorites. Actually, I wasn't even planning to do one, but I don't know. I was like thinking, I'm like, well, I have a few stuff to share, so I might as well just do a little small November favorites. And most of them are um, skincare and hair care products. I really did not have a whole lot of beauty products for this uh, month because I just was not really into wearing makeup a whole lot. Just in general to school, I've been just trying to wear, you know, maybe just a little mascara, a little lip gloss, maybe a little blush, and I'm out the door because, you know, with me only having three classes at school, and then I have a medical class that I take. Uh, just really no point for me to wear like a full face of makeup to school. So anyways, let's just get into some of my favorites that I've been really enjoying this month. Okay, first three things are all skincare related. And all these products I actually got in my Beauty Fix box. If you guys are not familiar with Beauty Fix, we'll link it down below. It's basically, I'll just run over it really fast because I've talked about it in previous videos, but it's basically almost like a birch box. It's sort of like a membership where you get um, eight high and pretty decent size samples, I guess, but make uh, beauty products and it has some makeup in it and you get it a package of it four times a year. So yeah, four times a year and it's $49.99 I believe for the whole package. But you do get a lot of products and if you guys are a huge, you know, skincare, hair care, just a huge beauty junkie and like to try out a lot of different products, I definitely recommend Beauty Fix because you get a lot of different products to try out and see if you would want to repurchase um, in like a fuller size or something. So I will link it down below. You guys can go to their website and take their little beauty quiz and it kind of gives you a rundown of products that are matched just specifically for you. So anyways, I got mine about a month ago last month and I have been loving the cleanser that I received. It is from 3Lab. I've never heard of this brand before. It's 3Lab, it's their perfect foaming cleanser. So it's basically like a very gentle foaming cleanser, which I love because I have super duper sensitive skin and my skin breaks out like that. And I've just been really like this. It's gentle, like I said. It has a little bit of beads in it. Very small, like exfoliating beads. So when you're rubbing it in your skin, you can feel the beads like burst. Burst. And yeah, it just feels really good on your skin. And also I have to say, I'm not sure if this has really like helped with my skin, but um, it has definitely not broken me out, which is always a good thing. Also, I will talk about this product next, but my skin has been evening out a little bit, which I am actually very surprised because I have like rosacea, rosacea, is that how you say it? I think hyperpigmentation. My skin is just literally all over the charts, but I've really been loving this foaming facial cleanser. It's very gentle. Okay, next product is a serum. It's from the Lisa Hoffman line. It's a night and day serum, which I think is really, really cool because usually you think of serums you just use during the night. But anyways, it just comes in like a little pump form like this. And I just squeeze one pump in, smooth out all over my face, especially where I have problems with my skin discoloring, like especially I have a lot of redness around my cheeks, um, of course around my nose, my chin, and my T-zone. So it's kind of all over here. And I've just been smoothing this out all over my skin after I'm done cleansing it. And I have noticed, like I said, a huge difference in my skin it has been definitely evening out a little better. And I think it has to do with this product and just some of the skincare products that were in my beauty fix box. I've really been liking, um, it's basically, it feels kind of like oily, sticky on your fingers. It almost feels like it should be like a hair gel. Like you should not be putting it on your face, but trust me, it's definitely a face product and I have certainly been enjoying it. It's the first serum that I've ever tried to, so um, I've definitely been liking it and definitely recommend it to y'all. Okay, next product I have is the Kirsten Florine Spa Face Aromatherapy Neroli Water. It's basically like rose water. If you guys have not heard of rose water, it's kind of like a florally scented water that is supposed to be just kind of a pick-me-up for your skin so you can spray this on your make well it doesn't say you can spray it on your makeup but i do almost as like a setting spray or just a little a little cooling down throughout the day this would probably be 
great during the summertime. Um, but it specifically says to do it after you cleanse your face. So it says the this unique floral water from the bitter orange blossom soothes and hydrates and freshens the skin. So it's kind of more of a I wouldn't say like a necessity, but it did come in my beauty fix box. So I tried it obviously I'm not gonna throw it away. Um, and I've just been really liking it. It feels so refreshing on your skin. And I actually want to spray it on right now. I'm not sure if it's going to make me oily, but oh well. I just like to do like a couple spritz. Um, and it just it feels so good on your face. And the scent is amazing. It just smells like flowers in a water. It almost smells like roses, but in water form. And I really, really like it. Okay, next thing I have here, I got a Bath & Body Works. And I've had this for so long long it is the slot and co creamy caramel it's basically like a house scented spray like a febreze or something that you just scent or scent spray in rooms to make it smell really nice but this scent in particular creamy caramel smells so good especially now that it's the holidays i like to spray this constantly in my room and all i need is like one spray and it fills like your whole Room. It is so strong. Like I said, I've got this a few Christmases ago. Such a long time. I usually put it away during the summertime or I just, you know, I don't use it because it just reminds me of the holidays and it's very caramelly but also just very spicy. It almost has like some cinnamon and some just really spicy scents that I love smelling during the holidays. So if you guys are kind of like not familiar with this product and have a Bath & Body Works near you, really recommend you guys checking them out and they're pretty inexpensive like i said they last so long especially the creamy caramel scent i think is just amazing and any scent that has to do you know with the holidays i love spring in my room this time of year i just think it smells delicious okay next thing i have is a hair product and it is from the brand jonathan this is also some something i got in my beauty fix box last month and it's basically like a anti-frizz volumizing serum so it's like a almost like a skincare serum, but it's for your hair. And I like need these kind of products because you guys know I have super pretty, you know, dead hair. Pretty much my split ends like go up to here. I seriously need to get a haircut, but I refuse to get a haircut, trim, whatever, just because I feel like it always ends up too short. So. so I actually washed my hair this morning and then I put a few pumps of this in my hand and I just like to spread it around in my hands, obviously. And then I take it and just run my fingers through my hair right after, well, not right after, like a little while after I get out of the shower while my hair is still a little damp, but it's not completely dry, not completely sopping, soaking wet. So like I said, I just spray a little to the ends of my hair and I just feel like it makes my hair so glossy. And I think I've actually been liking this more than my Chi Silk Infusion, which is like a holy grail product. I love that. But yeah, shh, don't tell anyone. I actually like this better than my Tree Silk Confusion just because it doesn't make weigh my hair down. I feel like the Tree Silk Confusion does a great job at smoothing my hair out, making it so silky and soft and looks very glossy. But every time I put that product in, it weighs my hair down and I just feel like, I'm like, seriously, I just washed my hair and I feel like I've been wearing a ton of products in it. So this is very lightweight, very good. If you guys do struggle with frizzy hair, definitely recommend it and this is kind of what it looks like it's just a sort of thick jelly consistency okay so I have two more products and the last product I have is something that I've tried before and this is my second little tube of it and I absolutely love it and I just recently repurchased it and it is the max select cover-up concealer I'm in the color NC 20 so this is definitely my winter shade because you know I'd be being some NC 40 up in here when it's winter. So anyways, I love this concealer. It's just a like multi-purpose, all-around great concealer for blemishes, anything under your eyes. And you guys know I love products that can kind of do more than one thing. And this is definitely, definitely a product that um, is just great all around. Just great all around. Like I can even not even wear foundation and be wearing this and it just makes me look so much more awake and it hides absolutely everything. I feel like it should be almost like near a full coverage for me. I guess it depends on, you know, your skin tone and if you, what kind of, um, what skin do you have? Like really bad acne. But for me, I don't have too bad of skin. Um, it's definitely improved. It's been, been improving, which is good, but this does cover absolutely everything. What I like to do is wear foundation with 
this um i put foundation on and then i put this over it and it creates like a flawless finish so i definitely recommend this concealer if you guys are in the market for a good concealer and kind of want to splurge a little bit but um i really like it i think it's worth it last product i have is my eos strawberry sorbet little pink um lip balm ball and ingrid or miss glamorazzi raved about this on her channel for such a long time and so finally I saw it at Ulta and I was like, I just need to get it because I've been wanting this for so long and everyone talks about it and says it smells really good. Um, and it definitely does. This is not my first EOS ball I've had. EOS chapsticks before in different scents and I absolutely love them. And I feel like I just got this and it's already going down. Look how small that is. Like when I got it, it was like, whoop, and now it's like, whoop. But anyways, I love the scent of it, it smells like strawberries and it's just, it's delicious. So I really recommend if you guys can get your hands on it, then definitely pick it up. And it's also very moisturizing on your lips. Um, so I like it a lot. And I think that's pretty much it for my November favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys have been loving for the month of November. And I just, I can't even believe this is gonna be the last favorites that I pretty much do for um, 2011 because my next favorites I'm probably gonna do a like a what is it favorites video for the whole year of 2011 so taking my favorite products that I've loved this year and make a huge video out of it which is just crazy to think that in a couple months it's gonna be January 2012 <laughs> all right so if you guys have any requests or anything just leave them down below and I'll see you in my next video